welcome back to world.com. I'm Michaela and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really simple frog sculpture. All you need for this is six horseshoes and two washers. It's the perfect project for a beginner welder as it only requires tack welding. You can use any size horseshoes you like for this depending on how big you want your sculpture but I do suggest you use six of the same sized horseshoes so the proportion of the frog is right. The same goes for the washers, you can use whatever size you like depending on how big you want the eyes. You can also use new or old horseshoes for this, but old horseshoes might require a bit of cleaning before welding. The horseshoes and washers I'm using today are made from steel. You have to make sure they're made out of the same material so they can be welded together. I'm using TIG to weld my sculpture together, but this could be welded together with MIG too. I just prefer TIG as it's more precise, less messy and the welds don't require cleaning after welding. I'm using my Miller Dynasty TIG plant with pure argon shielding gas. In my torch I have a 2.4mm laminated tungsten which I'm using with 1.6 ESAB steel filler rod. I'm using a foot pedal up to 145 amps for all my welds and my machine is set on a DC current as I'm welding steel. Some struggles you may have when welding the sculpture together is the steel horseshoes might move. Now this is due to distortion. So what I like to do is clamp the frog's feet down to make sure nothing moves while welding and the end result sits flat. Another problem you might have is if you're using old horseshoes they might be a little rusty which means they're quite hard to weld. What I like to do is clean where I'm welding with a wire brush or a grinder just so it makes it a little bit easier. The first thing I'm going to do is add the washers to the horseshoe to create the eyes. The easiest way I find to do this is to add some filler rod to the horseshoe, get some pliers and just fuse the filler rod off of the horseshoe onto the washer as they're different materials so it takes different heat. As you can see, I've added two blobs of filler rod to the steel horseshoe. I'm now going to take my pliers and washer, heat the filler rod up and then just fuse it to the washer. Now the eyes are welded on, I'm just going to bend them straight with the pliers. Perfect, and there you have the eyes welded on. Now I'm going to start the feet and the body. For the feet and body you need four of the horseshoes. And I'm going to put them into place and then use G clamps to hold them there to stop distortion and to make sure it sits flat. This is how I've set up the feet and body. I'm going to go ahead and tack the body together in the middle and then I'm going to tack the back of the body onto the feet.
Here is the body and feet tacked together. I've used quite a lot of filler rod in my tacks just to make sure it all stays together. I'm now going to add the bottom of the frog's mouth onto the rest of the sculpture. And all I'm going to do for this is hold it in place and tack it without any filler. This is how I've tacked the frog's mouth on. I've just made sure that it's flat and in the middle of the body. The last part to add to the frog sculpture is the horseshoe with the eyes. Now you just add this to the bottom of the mouth. You can have it as wide or as small as you like. And I hold it with one hand and tack it together with the other. I just fuse the steel together with the TIG torch first so I can move it if needs be. Then I go ahead and add filler rod to it. So I'm just going to hold this horseshoe with one hand and fuse it together with the TIG torch with the other. You may get heat marks on the washers from where you've tacked it, so I use a bit of scotch bright and just rub it down to get rid of the heat marks. <laughs> and here we have the finished frog sculpture. How easy was that? So simple, but looks so cool. Now I'm going to leave my clamps on until it's fully cooled down, just to ensure that it doesn't move. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do make any frog sculptures, be sure to tag my Instagram as I'd love to see them.